I think the first thing that everyone needs to understand is that we are electric beings. You know how they zap you back to life with defibrillators after you have a heart attack? That's electricity. You know what a pacemaker does to your heart? It emits electricity to regulate your heartbeat. We've stepped away from the native electric fields we are used to in nature in a variety of ways. Many different aspects of our modern life are dangerous in this regard, but this one is unseen and often overlooked. The specific danger presented by ongoing exposure to non-native frequencies emitted by Wi-Fi devices and cell towers. The goal today is to understand the mechanism behind which these EMFs act on our body, that being through voltage-gated calcium channels. This is purely informative and a bit involved. The simple summary of this is that these fields, electric and magnetic, disrupt calcium metabolism in cells, which has a domino effect on other processes. Current safety standards are based on the assumption that all important biological effects of microwave and lower frequency EMFs are due to tissue heating, thermal effects. Voltage dependent calcium channels are a group of voltage gated ion channels found in the membrane of excitable cells, such as muscle cells and neurons, with a permeability to the calcium ion. At physiologic or resting membrane potential, these channels are normally closed. They are activated when depolarized, which means that the electrical potential on the inside of the cell switches to negative. The concentration of calcium is normally several thousand times higher on the outside of the cell than inside. Activation of particular voltage-gated calcium channels allows calcium influx into the cell, and depending on the cell, that activates calcium-sensitive potassium channels, muscular contraction, excitation of neurons, upregulation of gene expression, or release of hormones or neurotransmitters. Excessive activation of these channels is a major component of excitotoxicity, as severely elevated levels of intracellular calcium activate enzymes, which at high enough levels can degrade essential cellular structures. So we have five different types of calcium channels. What this tells us is that a variety of channels can be activated, which can cause different symptoms in the body. Governments and cell phone companies have it in their interest to do as little public research on the negative health effects of long-term exposure to these frequencies. Imagine that cell phone companies were the tobacco industry, but instead of selling you a frivolous drug, they're selling products that are fundamental to our modern economies. Despite research showing heavy cell phone use is dramatically associated with cancers developing in the area near where the cell phone is held, it is still in the interest of companies and in the interest of our corporate controlled governments to hide this information. The biophysical properties of voltage gated calcium channels make them particularly sensitive to low intensity, non-thermal EMF exposures. Downstream effects of voltage gated calcium channel activation include calcium signaling, elevated nitric oxide, nitric oxide signaling, peroxynitrite, free radical formation, and oxidative stress. Downstream effects explain repeatedly reported biological responses to non-thermal exposures. Oxidative stress, single and double strand breaks in cellular DNA, cancer, male and female infertility, lowered melatonin and sleep duration, cardiac changes including tachycardia, arrhythmia, and sudden cardiac death. Diverse neuropsychiatric effects, including depression and therapeutic effects. With modern lifestyles, an increase in free radical formation and an increase in DNA damage can be chalked up to a number of factors associated with modern and healthy living. To government, the economic boom from high connectivity is much more important than citizens living ailment free into old age and collecting their pensions. With the inability to pinpoint the cause of diseases, along with government and corporations' desire to hide the long-term effects of exposure to these frequencies, you should be exceedingly cautious about exposure to Wi-Fi, especially the latest and greatest technology. Furthermore, Barry Trower, a retired military intelligence expert from the United Kingdom, has stated that classified research indicates that different wavelengths vary in their biological activities as well. He reports that the specific details of the biological impacts of variations in pulsed electromagnetic fields are classified by multiple countries because of national security. 
Thus, much of what research appears to have been done in this field remains unavailable to decision makers charged with setting standards on such devices that emit pulsed electromagnetic fields. Just like the medical industry is hiding the secret that vitamins, nutrients, minerals, lifestyle factors can prevent you from ever having to go to a doctor, you know, living a long, happy, healthy life, these telecom companies, the FCC, have it in their interest so do these corporations, and this is probably just as big as the medical industry from a profit perspective. It's in their interest to not let you know that Wi-Fi is dangerous because if we all started living like the Amish, well, we'd probably be a lot happier, a lot healthier, and not reliant on these government parasites. Parasites is what these elite people are. And without us, they have nothing. This Wi-Fi medical system, a bunch of other things are keeping you attached to that system, myself included. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please share this. Uh, this is basically the mechanism. This is what these fields are specifically doing in our body that can lead to a variety of health effects. Uh, if you guys want some time next week, you know, I can go over various health effects and things you might experience from uh, these types of fields. Uh, that's gonna be again like this, pretty in depth, just reading uh, pure information. If you guys want to join me for a live stream later, it's going to be Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, maybe we'll do a Toyota Corolla live stream or uh, we'll talk about whatever you guys want. Uh, if you could please like the video, you know, subscribe, you know, leave a comment down below. And if you guys do want to support me further, uh, we have fresh, never frozen ground beef available on Frankie's Free Range of Meat this week uh, from a local New York farm. So you can definitely check that out. You know, organ supplements still moving strong ahead. Frankie's Naturals as well as frank if you guys are interested in nutrition and diet consultations. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night.